Hi everyone. Finding inverse of a matrix could be a very tedious task. You have already done so many methods like finding your cofactors, minors, adjoint, or using elementary row and column transformations. Also, at times you prove a certain statement and then make certain modifications to finally get a inverse. What if I teach you a trick which is really short and you get your answer in less than 30 seconds? Yes, you can try your way. Let us discuss the shortcut way. Now, given this matrix, the first thing is finding your conventional determinant of A using your normal method. So, here it is 1 into 3 minus 0 minus 2 minus 1 minus 0 minus 2 2 minus 0 This gives us 1. If you do not know how to find determinant of a 3 cross 3 matrix, do check out my video on the same. I'll link it for you in the description box. You can get it by clicking at the I button and also at the end of this video. So once you have done this, which is again a very quick process, we move to the main thing. We know A inverse is 1 over determinant of A into adjoint of A. Now adjoint of A is something which is mostly tedious. Let's make it simple for you. The first thing we do is copy the entire matrix as it is. Next, you know the vertical lines are the columns and the horizontal ones are the rows. So you repeat the first two columns as they are. That means write 1 minus 1, 0 and 2, 3, minus 2. Next, just see the row 1 and row 2 and copy them down as they are. So 1, 2, minus 2, 1, 2, minus 1, 3, 0, minus 1, 3. Now, just cancel out the first row and the first column. This is the part of your procedure. So, once we have done that, now keep in mind, you create this. Now, we are going to apply the operations column wise, but we are going to write row wise. Why? Because you remember we used to take the transpose of the given cofactor matrix. 3 minus 0 gives us only 3. You write it over here. Next, now consider these four. Minus 2 into minus 2 is 4. Minus 2 is simply 2. Put it here. Next, 2 into 0 is a 0. Minus of minus 6, which gives us a 6. So, we did everything column wise, but while writing, I put it row wise. Likewise, for the second column, 0 minus of minus 1, that makes it 1. 1 minus 0, next 2 minus 0, next 2 minus 0 again, so it's 2, next 0 minus of minus 2 makes it plus 2, next 3 minus of minus 2, that makes it 5. And you already know that Determinant of A is 1 in this case, so into 1. That's it. This is your A inverse. You can tally it. Trust me, this is the answer. You can take up any question and try doing it. Trust me, with practice, it doesn't take more than half a minute. If you like this trick, make sure to share it with your friends, like the video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It's free. See you with the next one real soon. Until then, bye-bye.